ओके सो हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द सर्जिकल इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स सो वी विल डिस्कस सर्जिकल इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स नेम्स एंड देयर यूजेस वी विल डिस्कस अ टोटल 56 इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स ओके सो लेट्स स्टार्ट सो वी विल स्टार्ट विद द सर्जिकल ब्लेड्स सो द यूजेस ऑफ सर्जिकल ब्लेड्स आर फॉर गिविंग इनसीजन एंड फॉर रिमूविंग ऑफ सूचर ओके और नेक्स्ट इंस्ट्रूमेंट इज लीनियर स्टेपलर और लीनियर कटर द यूजेस आर बाउल एनास्टोमोसिस एंड स्लीप गैस्ट्रिक टॉमी आवर नेक्स्ट इंस्ट्रूमेंट इज सर्कुलर स्टेपलर यूजेस फॉर एंड टू एंड एनास्टोमोसिस आफ्टर बाउल रिसेक्शन और इन इसोफेगो गैस्ट्रिक सर्जरी Our next instrument is needle holder. Doctor use it to hold a suturing needle for closing wounds during suturing and surgical procedures. Next instrument is needle. Used it to invade the tissue and carry the suture material during suturing process. next we will discuss about forceps here we will discuss chittal sterilizer forceps dissecting forceps lint tissue holding forceps babcock tissue forceps toothed forceps russian forceps burt parker handle artery forceps cocher's tissue forceps Alice tissue forceps and round ample sponge holder. So let's start. So this is chiral sterilizer forceps. So it is used to remove sterilized instruments from boilers and formalin cabinet. Next, this is dissecting forceps. Use it is. Use of this is other than dissecting. It is mainly used as an extension to the user's grip in holding tissue, suture, and needles. Next instrument is lint tissue holding forceps. It is used to hold tough or bulky tissues for skin apposition and for lymph node for biopsy or appendix in appendectomy. Next instrument is Babcock tissue forceps. So it is used in numerous surgical procedures. Most commonly used during appendectomy to hold either appendix or cecum. Next instrument is toothed forceps. To it is used to handle tissues and different materials and use used it to manipulate needles and other instruments while operating next instrument is russian forceps so it is used for atraumatic tissue grasping during dissection next instrument is bart parker handle so this is the handle and this is the blade so you can add different blade to the handle so to add the blade and along with the blade the whole instrument is used for in precise skin incision okay next instrument is artery forceps also known as hemostatic forceps or vascular forceps it is used to grasp the vessel and allow ligation of those vessels okay so next instrument is cocher's tissue forceps so it is used to grasp tough fibrous slippery tissues such as muscle and fascia next instrument is alice tissue forceps so it is used to hold or grasp heavy tissues next instrument is rample sponge holder it is used for holding swabs when preparing a patient or used to grip and manipulate cervical tissue during gynecological procedures now we will discuss about the retractors 
So we have Langenbeck retractor, Army Navy retractor, Journey retractor, Catspaw retractor, Dever retractor, Single hoop retractors, Double hoop retractor, Morris retractor, Harrington Ton retractor, Allison lung retractor, Self retaining abdominal retractor, Finocchietto self retaining chest wall retractor, Jol self retaining thyroid retractor. So, first one is the Langenbeck retractor. So, it is used to retract soft tissues and wound edges in order to visualize deeper structure. Next is Army Navy retractor. So, it is used to retract shallow or superficial incisions. Next is Journey Retractor. So, it is used superficial retraction of skin during laparotomy. Cat's paw or St. Miller Retractor. It is used to retract the skin during minor operations. Dever Retractor. It is used to hold the edges of an abdominal or chest incision open so that the surgeon is able to reach underlying organs. Next instrument is single hook retractor. It is used inside the vestibular skin separately to the marginal incision. Next instrument is double hook retractor. It is used to retract the vestibule of the nose outwardly. Next is Morris Retractor. It is used to retract abdominal wall incisions, loin incisions and subcostal wounds. Next is Harrington Retractor. It is used to hold back tissue and deep organs in the abdomen. Next is Allison Lung Retractor. It is used in cardiothoracic surgery in which it is necessary to retract the lung to lungs okay self retaining abdominal retractor it is used as abdominal retractor for mini laparotomy next, next is finocchietto's self retaining chest wall retractor it is used to separate ribs in thoracic surgery next is jaws self retaining thyroid thyroid retractor so it is used to retract soft tissue and enhance the visualization of the surgical field in thyroid and vaginal surgeries. Next is various needle. So it is used to create pneumoperitoneum for laparoscopic surgery. Next is laparoscopic trucker. So it is used to as access and drain collections of fluid such as in a patient with hydrothorax or ascites. Next, we'll discuss about the clip. So, we'll discuss Doyen's cross towel clip, Moynihan tetra towel clip, Miles towel clip, and Liga clip. So, first one is the Doyen cross towel clip. So, it is used to drafting towels for fixing diathermic cables, suction tubes, etc. And it also may be used to hold ribs while elevating flay segment of chest. Next is Moynihan Tetra Towel Clip. So it is used to hold sterile towels as close to the incision as possible. Next is Miles Towel Clip. So it is used to hold sterile towels as close to the incision as possible. Next, these are the Liga clip. Okay, so these are the Liga clips, and it is kept through this instrument. So this is used as extra ligating metallic clip in both open and endoscopic surgeries. Next, we'll discuss about the clamps. Under this, we'll discuss about Lane intestinal clamp, Doyen's intestinal clamp, Bulldog arterial clamp, and Satinsky bicarb clamp. So, first one is the Lane intestinal clamp. It is used to grasp and occlude large organs such as stomach and the intestine during general surgeries. 
Next one is the Doyne's intestinal clamp. So it is used to occlude the lumen of the intestine and the blood vessels as they are specially designed to handle delicate structure. Next one is the Bulldog arterial clamp. So it is used to stop blood flow to a particular organ of interest. Mainly it is used in coronary surgery where blood flow must be stopped. Next one is Satinsky bicurved clamp. It is specially designed to control blood flow in the vena cava vein. It is used in a variety of cardiovascular and cardiothoracic surgery. Next is SIL sport, SILS sport. It is used to enable laparoscopic surgery through a single incision. Next is periosteal elevator. It is used to leave full thickness of tissue flaps. Next is Humby knife. It is used to produce thin slices of skin from a donor area in order to use them for making skin grafts, mainly used in grade 3 burns or trauma. Next is electric dermatome. So it is also used to produce thin slices of skin from a donor area in order to use them for making skin grafts, mainly used in grade 3 burns or trauma. Electric dermatomes are better for cutting out thinner and longer strips of skin with a more homogeneous thickness. Next, these are surgical scissors. So it, these are used for cutting organs, dissecting tissues, removing abnormal or diseased tissues, cutting and removing bandages, cusps, clothing and sutures. Next, this is speculum. So vaginal speculum is used to dilate the vagina for examination of vagina and cervix. Okay, so next instrument is suction tube. So it is inserted into the upper airway to drain the mucus, saliva and other debris that obstructs a person's breathing. Next is surgical hook. It is used to grasp, move and sometimes remove various types of tissues or objects like an IUD. Next, this is surgical mesh. It is used to provide support prolapse organs either temporarily or permanently. Okay, so next one is the curettes. So it is used for scrapping or debriding, debriding biological tissue or debris in a biopsy, excision or cleaning procedures. Next one is trunk depressor. So it is used to depress the tongue to allow the examination of the mouth and throat. Next one is the towel clamp. So it is used for grasping tissue, securing towels and holding or reducing small bone fractures. Next one is the cannula. It is inserted into the vein for obtaining blood samples and for administering of medicines. Next one, this is cautery. Generally, it is heated to a dull red glow that a physician applies to produce blisters to stop bleeding of a blood vessel and for other similar purposes. Next is Articulator. It is used to diagnose the state of occlusion in both the natural and artificial dentition. Thank you. So guys, if you like this video, then please do not forget to hit the like button and please do subscribe my channel